Hey, we're here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore. It's like 11.20 on Thursday, July 26th. We got an unboxing video here. Uh, also, we just saw two great other shops here in the Plaza Video Game Underground and Checkmate Games. Checkmate Games opened at 1. Video Game Underground opens at 11. So certainly, come on by, give them some money. Let's see what's in this box right here. We know that there's some Thanos figures in this box. Let's see what else is in this box. Looks like a banged up Thanos figure there. Let's see what Thanos figures these are. They're the regular ones or the Disney exclusive. We were lucky enough to get some of the Disney exclusives for a little while. And that luck has run out. We just got the regular Thanos figures. Because the Disney exclusive Marvel Thanos from the movie need to go to Disney because Disney does not make enough money. They need all the cash they can get. So that extra scraps of change that they get certainly, certainly goes to Disney. But that's it for this box. Just the Thanos uh, action figures. Other than that, you have yourself a very good afternoon. And uh, real quick, we are still processing uh, these books over here. Uh, we'll be bagging up and pricing up more comics later this afternoon. We might be processing the Batmans. we got some cool Batman comics here. Some that are in pretty, pretty uh, ratty condition, but cheap reader copies. We're going to go through these real quick like to make this video a little bit longer than 30 seconds. By the time I get done with this, it'll probably be like 11.25. But you can see some great Batman comics. We've got Detective Comics also. We've got a Conan number one. Got, of course, the Electro's first appearance in Amazing Spider-Man number nine. There's a giant Batman giant. The man with ten eyes. They're on his fingers and thumbs. Drown or be shot. There he is. The man with ten eyes. He's back. The sinister return of the demon. The daughter of the demon. Got these great new Adams covers. Night of the Reaper. Don't fear the Reaper. I believe that's a rights and cover. Unfortunately, very badly water damaged. Lots of hanging covers, suicide covers, Batman suicide notes, Batman hangings. Lots of uh, suicide covers on these Batmans I've noticed over the uh, years as far as getting collections in. Uh, I've got the crossover with the shadow. Another Batman 100-page Spectacular. We talked about these uh, last night. I showed the regular 100-page Spectaculars. I didn't go through the individual ones I have, like on Batman, uh, Tales of the Unexpected, um, Superboy. There's another Batman 100-page. World's Finest, we have them. Uh, so we do have some in some of the other titles when it uh, just became their titles and it wasn't part of the uh, DC 100-page uh, giants. Uh, we've got these plops I have to go through. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell these plops. These things are just too damn funny. We've got Sergio Aragonis artwork. Classic. We've got this guy who goes back through time. And guess what? He landed right in the middle of a gunfight. Prison plops? Your ad definitely said that no salesman will call. You may turn up the heat. Say when you rang prison plops. You got the Sergio Aragona stuff in the margins here, which you would later do for Mad. There you got some more Sergio. You got an original Basil Warburton right there. You got some of the letters. Anybody cool writing in from the letters? Daryl Johnson from the Dallas Cowboys wrote in, I see. Uh, probably not, but it's got the same name. Congratulations, unknown, address unknown. They didn't want. They don't want to be associated with this book, but uh, great plops. Got some Steve Ditko Blue Beetles. 
Shanna, the She Devil. Got George Tuska uh, doing the art on that. I believe Ross Andrews doing the art on this one here. That uh, she's uh, arm wrestling with a man, and he's he's pretty mad that his Irish pride uh, is trying to get back, and she beats him again. Come on, let me give you a hand. Uh, no thanks. I'll be picking myself up. Uh, and they go to the shield helicopter carrier and look at her. Shanna's all decked out. She's all proud and she's just, she's is, boy, a jungle beauty for sure. Shanna the She-Devil. They're proud to have her there. Who wouldn't be proud of that? Great Ross Andrew artwork. I think there's more Ross Andrew artwork there. Because Ross Andrew did not get enough credit for his classic uh, cheesecake photo uh, artwork or drawing of beautiful women. Uh, Ross uh, could certainly do that. You got Gil Kane on this cover of Gunslinger. There's another copy of Gunslinger. You got E Man Joe Stanton. Tales of Asgard. Jack Kirby. It's all reprints. G.I. Tales. Prez, the first teen president. Issue number two. Challenge of the Unknown, War of the Subhumans, the Blue Extra Cult song, Beware of the Subhumans. Challenge of the Unknown, read it now, remember forever, taps for red. Okay, so I'm dead, but you guys have to carry on, or the chows are finished forever. More Challenge of the Unknown, Got a great Jack, uh, Joe Kubert cover, <coughs> The Thing That Came Out of the Sea. Kirby Stuff, showcase number 11, December, uh, November, December 1957 by Jack Kirby. You get Marvel uh, Spectacular reprints with Thor. Those are Jack Kirby reprints. Reprints the first appearance of the High Evolutionary. There's Jane Foster. The Growing Man. Can you face the secrets of the Sinister House? Again, look at the way this purple just pops off of there. Jack uh, Sparling cover. Sort of a realistic type cover. Two copies of that issue. These are nice horror comics with the way the reds and the yellows pop. These are all miscellaneous comics, of course. We've got Rawhide Kid, several Rawhide Kids. These are going to be cheap comics. If you like westerns, come buy these up. If you like Marvel westerns, this is your opportunity. We've got some Blackhawks when it went to D when it went to DC. We've got Wyatt Earp, Red Wolf, the first Indian. A uh, superhero. His stuff was uh, very, very cool and very respectful to uh, to where he came from, honoring uh, several of their uh, traditions. You got Red Wolf. Unfortunately, it only lasted. This may have been the last issue. John Romita cover. Shed Shores. Oh, we got issue nine. And let's see. This probably was the phone. Oh, look, it's Brother Voodoo. Issue 67. Brother Voodoo. Fantastic first issue. Interesting. This says, uh, if you look on here, Strange Tales 167. And that's Strange Tales 169. So was it actually supposed to be in 167 or did it get pushed back? And last issue of Red Wolf, the end for now. You got some of the Edgar Rice Burroughs, Weird Worlds, uh, covers by Joe Kubert. Got my Kaluta cover. Again, look at the way that purple pops. And then you get the Iron Wolf who's in there. Wanted, the world's most dangerous criminals. I bought these when I was a kid. This gave me a chance to catch up and to see some of these great stories and this great history that comics do bring. What issue number is that? Number five. See, somebody has gone through my Wanted's and they've put them out of order. We have issue one. We have issue two. We've got three. There's four. Now there's five. Now there's six. We put these in order, which people tend to go through and not pay attention to what they're doing. More work for us. 
Voice of the Bottom of the Sea, based on the TV series, Richard Basehart. That's the only copy of this. That's issue number 10, because Gold Key never put their numbers on the cover. They've got some number here that who knows what that is. It's probably some secret CIA code. Flyman. The Peacemaker. Carlton Comics. Korak, Son of Tarzan, the first DC copy. These were published by Gold Key up until this point. Joe Kubert cover. Kubert did lots of these. The person on the inside, let's see, looks like it's Kubert, did the artwork, written and edited by Joe Kubert. Frank Thorne did the artwork. Man, that's cool. Frank Thorne, before he did Red Sonja. Going to have to certainly look at these again. It's been a while since I looked at these. He had a very Joe Kubert style, so I can see why they, why they picked him. Carson of Venus. Carson of Venus, let's see, who was that done by? That was done by art and uh, script and art by Mike Kaluta. <clears throat> Joe did all the covers for those. Here we have Cole the Conqueror. I believe it's John Severin. Oh, uh, Ross, Andrew, and Wally Wood artists. Ross did a lot more for Marvel than what I than what I would have given him credit for. And you've got Wally Wood. Um... Got uh, Marie and John Severin. So issue two, Ross was already gone. Called the Conqueror. They got issue three. That's a John Severin cover. And it looks like Marie and John once again did that. Brother, great brother, sister team for the comics. That's a nice cover there. A nice John Severin cover. Again, Gary Conway, uh, Marie and John, based on characters by Robert E. Howard. Plot by John Jakes. Edited by Roy Thomas. Skull called the Conqueror. <clears throat> this issue, same team, Gary, Marie, John, and based on the story, Swords of the Purple Kingdom by Robert E. Howard. Uh, we got another one. This is a, a Marie uh, and John cover. And Marie did the artwork, but John did not. You had uh, Frank uh, did the did the inking there. And then issue eleven became Cole the Destroyer. Beginning to pulse upon a new chapter in the startling saga of the man called Call, a Mike Plug cover. And Mike Plug did the artwork on the inside as well. Call the Destroyer number 15, Gil Kane cover. And let's see who did the artwork. Plug and Ernie, Ernie Chu. Ernie, Ernie Chan, he kept changing his name. Uh, but that's it for right now. Uh, we're going to have more videos later. And if you like these videos, uh, certainly subscribe if you subscribe. Smash that bell for notifications. Thank you.